Bitcoin on Legion. As we're here, like always, and we got that Halo Infinite stuff. It's looking crazy. Let's just get into it, check it out, see what it's all about. Let's hope it's good. I've watched the E3 conference that was loud uh, already, uh, Microsoft. So I've seen all the stuff I'll be doing for all the E3 coming up. But it's always fun to rewatch it all with you guys if you haven't seen it yet. A lot of people are like, what is this? <coughs> Someone made a joke, like, is this Gears of War? And they're like, no, it's not bulbous and round enough. But it was very... suspicious. We're like... And then here you kind of know. out of my ear. I don't know if it's loud for you guys. Alright. Get to see some grunts here that some soldier. Some ancient carvings of halos. <laughs> that sound. Make you just just give me that feeling inside of just awesomeness. Damn right. Powered by uh, slip space. <laughs> Engine. Oh, what up, Cortana? Maybe Cor maybe not Cortana. Let's get it right there. Um, so my first thought was, if you look at the animals running, you look at the warthog. This is not the best graphics. You look at the chief's armor. It's very. It's not Halo Wars. Like I, like I was thinking, oh, that'd be funny if that was it. I knew it wasn't gonna be Halo Infinite. I thought with maybe the because the way the warthog was driving on the ground, it didn't look like it really matched that well. So the graphics always seemed like it was. They were very toned, like the. Um, and I believe in in, in the. The Xbox conference, they said, follow Chief at, they didn't say, I don't think they said it was a prequel, but they said, I've watched so much stuff, it's hard to remember now. Him, Another chapter of him trying to, you know, defend humanity. And my first thought was, maybe the graphics were so toned down because Halo was going to do their own BR. I thought that would have been hilarious. I would have laughed my ass off. Um... But this is supposed to be like another chapter. I, I don't believe this is going to be like... This isn't like Halo 6 or anything. I don't believe that at all. This is like this is like Fallout 76. There's It's a side chapter of Chief. Um, I believe it might have its own storyline. Like... Um, like I'm try, I Literally, I'm trying to remember if it... I think it might have been the Fallout thing that said it was the prequel. It is the prequel, but... And I don't believe it was Halo that said that. I don't think Phil Spencer said that for this. Um, I think he just said, let's follow Chief on, on another adventure. Now, I'm curious of what the carvings are. This might be like a, like, infinite. This may be like some kind of, not prequel, but like, kind of like an origin, where they're kind of like, this race or whatever on the Halo, or if they're on the Halo, was like, depicting where they were, which was this weird world that was the, the Halo shape. But all the carvings and stuff, there's like an ancient race probably on there. And what is that going to lead to? Is this going to be like a like a discovery type of game? Or is this going to be something more like, well, whatever it could be. And then are they going to tack on a BR just to do so? Um, which I think that would be really funny. Uh, what I could do real quick, let's go ahead and uh, close that. I, I'm actually curious enough that I'm going to look it up real quick to see if there is a plot. So let's do Halo and... Admit. Halo uh, Halo 4 is the... Wait, what? 
nuts. Went right to infinity. It's not what I wanted. Uh, <coughs> Halo Infinite trailer brings Master Chief back. Update. Uh, we'll see what this will say. Uh, Master Chief is... F oh, don't play that video, fucker. Master Chief is finally returning with Halo Infinite. This game debut trailer revealed the Microsoft E3 press conference showcase nat nature at work on ha on the new Halo. Oh, I, was gonna th I thought I was going to say Halo engine. I was going to get, like, what? That's a shit engine. Um, Master Chief is shown plugging Cortana uh, or some kind of AI. That's what I thought into the back of his helmet as the final uh, tease. The trailer begins of a tour of nature showing, okay, we know all that. Under man, and typical Halo fashion, the trailer ends with a shot of Master Chief looking off at a beautiful vista. His helmet uh, hangs it aside, although we don't see his face. The trailer is shockingly peaceful for the Halo universe. We may not know much about the Halo Infinite yet, but one thing's for sure, this peaceful Halo is going to get messed up before Master Chief is done. Halo, okay, so it doesn't really, these guys don't have a whole lot of information. I was hoping maybe we get a plot, uh, but it doesn't look like it. I don't know if this is gonna be some form of a prequel or not. Um, because if it is like Cortana and stuff like that, you know, if it actually is her, you know, this is going to be like one of the first missions. I, I, I honestly, I don't know really what they're doing. I, it's really hard because Halo 1 kind of had, you know, it did the kind of, the, the telling of Chiefs, I, be, I assumed, I believe, his first encounter with a Halo ring. Unless that's not the case, it picks up after. Um, I would like to see... Because it was always a weird thing for me. This may not be the most popular option, but for me, I always wanted to see what what, what happened to the the Reach guy. Because the, all the other Reach people, I believe, died. I wanted to see kind of the moments between Reach and One. I wanted to see Chief kind of, you know, a part of that. I don't know if it was ever known in the, when this, when Breach was coming out that it was actually a prequel. I think people knew that, but when you watch the ending scene and it's the opening scene to Halo, that was crazy. And I don't know if we're going to get something like that. We're going to get some kind of like um, in between what ep episodes, you know, Halo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, and then the Reach, you know, ODST is in the middle of all that. Yeah, so I don't know. I wonder if this is going to, because. I mean, the Halo rings have gone off in some forms. Some haven't, or they've been destroyed, I should say. Some have. And we kind of got away from the Halo rings when 343 kind of got a hold of it into the whole Forerunner situations. And instead of it being a ring, it's a whole fucking planet that does shit, right? At the end of Halo 5, uh, Cortana is like singing or whatever she's doing, talking. And one of the rings powers on. So now it looks like... 343 is kind of wrapping back to the bungee type of storytelling where we're bringing back a halo um honestly it'd be worth just to get like the audiobooks if they have them for this series um and get it all into context like that um i don't know specific, maybe you guys can tell me in the comments down below did 343 kind of do what disney did to star wars where they kind of kept kind of the original stuff but then they just kind of added their own flavor or is like the whole Forerunner saga that they did in 4 and 5, uh, is that like their own their own ideas? Because I remember, I think 4, everybody was like, oh my god, they're just getting away from the Covenant. They're doing all the all the, um, the hard light people, the orange skull, whatever. And I always thought that that was them taking their liberty and just jumping straight to something that was already created. Like, that might have already been in the Halo world, but I feel like 343 just kind of said, well, let's stop, you know, the storytelling from Bungie's perspective with Halo 1 through 3, which is Covenant, and we'll just skip whatever the rest of that story was and go straight to the Forerunner arc, or do they just kind of create the four? I, I actually don't remember. It's been so long that I haven't really kept up with the, with the Halo stuff. So with that, though, I'm going to get out of here. I'll be covering all the other stuff as well from Bethesda, Sony, and all that, so if you want to check all that out. 
come back, see all this trailer, and uh, let's experience and talk some of this together. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Later.